This is August 4, 2012. Here we are at Anti-Heroin Rally in Washington, Missouri, where many people's lives have been devastated by this heroin epidemic, and we're here to let them tell their story. Could you tell me about your experience with heroin? I lost my grandson in February. He was a uh, father of two young boys, worked every day, was a good kid, made everybody smile. Actually, he really wasn't into heroin so deep. He just did it one time, and that's all it took. So how did he get involved with heroin? Friends. Yeah, like he knew a lot of people, and I guess he was one of the people that was easily led because he definitely wasn't into drugs. Just unfortunate that it had to happen the way it did. And so what was your life like before you were here? Oh, he was great. He, I mean, like I said, he worked every day. He was a good kid. He had I, a whole bunch of friends. After he, after he died, they're still posting on his Facebook wall. He's really missed. He was at a friend's apartment, and it was here in Franklin County. And I think it's an ongoing investigation as to where the drugs came from, but he'll be sadly missed. So your message to everyone is? It's not worth it. Get high on life. Don't do heroin. You lose too much. It's too painful for the people you leave behind. Jeanette Smith. Truman Smith. And Autumn Smith. And so could time. you tell me about your experience with heroin? Our experience with heroin is that our son was a truck driver, and he was murdered in February of 2011 in East St. Louis. Uh, he got to the drop site too early, and some thug needed a fix, so he tried to rob him. Our son had didn't even have enough for a bottle of soap. So the thug got nothing, our son lost his life. You know, so, you know, we're here to stand for that because not only does it kill families that uses, it kills families of non-users. You know, so it's just bad all the way around. This is her father, you know, our son. He was a grandpa, you know. <laughs> Nobody ever get to see him, but this thug is still out there. So it had adverse effects on your family? It sure did, because we don't have Truman Lee no You know, and he wasn't the user. You know, he wasn't trying to get trucks. He was doing his job. He got to his job site too early, got out of his truck. The place wasn't open yet for him to drop the load. And uh, when he was on his way back to the truck, there the guy was on the other side of the truck. Even though our son told him he didn't have anything because he didn't carry a wallet or anything, uh, it didn't matter. This guy shot him in the guy. So even though our son wasn't our son, the guy who killed him needed a fix.